All right, so today we're talking about my October TBR list. So I got a stack of books here that I'm hoping to get through this month, as well as some books I don't have physical copies for that we'll be going over as well. Uh, and this is not all inclusive. There's all the time books that come up that I'll read uh, that just come out of nowhere. But these are ones that I'm intentionally trying to get through this month. So the first one getting through is Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. And this is actually a the second book in a series that me and my wife are reading. She actually uh, brought it to my attention. It was one of her reads. She liked the first one so much, she recommended it to me. Um, I got through it pretty quick and now we're on to the second one. So that's a nice fun one that we're reading together. Uh, really been enjoying it. It does give me some uh, Twilight vibes. I'm not the biggest fan of, of Twilight. Uh, but it is very, very well written and the it's, it's a fairly narrow scope especially in the first book um, but the characters in the first book they're just very they're fun to read they're the banter between the two main characters is enough for me to continue reading on with the series second book i'll be getting through is the black tongue thief now this one i uh, just recently heard of this so it hasn't been on my list very long but I don't know, it may be the, the title or the cover, but one of the two has just really got me intrigued. So I went ahead and jumped on this one. I've actually already read uh, a small portion of it. And so far, again, the, the main character in this, uh, at least in the first couple chapters, love, uh, very excited to go on an adventure with him. And I don't know, I think I have a thing with thieves and heists, uh, any kind of crime novels. Uh, because the next book on the list is actually Six of Crows, uh, which is also a heist book. So, um, and then again, you know, Mistborn being one of my favorites. It's just, I like people stealing stuff. It makes for a good story. Uh, and this one actually uh, has been on my list for quite a while, but it just recently went on sale on Amazon, so I had to snatch it up. Um, it's not my favorite cover. It's the uh, Netflix show cover. And I, I really don't like when they do that, when they take shows or movies of books and make those the covers. I'm not sure if anyone else likes them. I hate them all. But at the price they were selling this for, I'd, I had to snatch it up. I much prefer the, uh, the original uh, cover for this book. And if I really love the book, I will probably end up buying a nicer edition of it and maybe donating this to somebody or sending it to a friend, who knows. And the last physical book I have has been on my list the longest of these that I'm going over, and that's Malice. Um, geez, I bought this book like two years ago and it has been sitting on my shelf waiting for me to get around to it. And I'm sure none of you have books laying around that you bought a long time ago and have yet to get to. I'm sure that's not a thing anyone else does. I'm sure it's just me, but I'm excited. I've heard a lot of good things about it from a lot of uh, booktubers that I watch. So I'm excited to get into this one and see how it turns out. And then the last one that's on my definitely going to try to get through this month is the blade itself, which I do not have a physical copy of. That may change soon. Sometimes I get into listening to a book and I just need the physical copy of it. So. If I really get into it, I may end up buying the, the physical book before I'm even finished with it. Um, but either way, I'm going to be listening to that one. Again, this is one that I just, I keep hearing people talk about it. And it sounds like everything I would love in a book. So I got to read it, find out. It's probably the most FOMO book on my list this month. Uh, just because, like I said, I keep hearing people talk about it and rave about it and why it's so good and why you should read it. And I'm tired of listening to that. So I'm finally going to read it. They've worn me down. It checks all my boxes of things I want in a book. So we'll see how that one turns out. Now, like I said, there is usually a book or two or three that ends up just showing up and uh, me reading it out of the blue. If you have any recommendations, let me know down in the comments. I'm always looking for, for good reads. So with that, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will see you on the next one.